Hey guys, it's me, the Dumb Fanatic, and welcome to week one of the PGBL. Yes, it's a new Wi Fi league which uh, I joined a few weeks ago. Draft was also a few weeks ago, and I can promise you we've got a very fun team. Um, I'll go over my team, sort of what I have in front, here in front of me, but um, whether it will be uploaded before this battle or not, <clears throat> I know it's out of order. I will try and get a draft analysis up because. I'm really looking forward to using this team. Um, you can already see what I've got in front of me. Uh, these six, but I have got, I want to say, 12 Mons. I can't remember. Um, it's all on a fancy website, so what I can actually do is I can leave a link to the website below for you guys to see um, uh, my my squad, if you fancy. Um, but yeah, this week we're against Randy. Um, you may know him from the GBA D-League, which he was in with me actually last season, I believe. And he's in it again this season as well. Um, he also does loads of other Pokemon content, and he's, he's a pretty cool dude as well. Um, so yeah, uh, Norris Key versus Texas Rangers in the first week, and we're actually in the same division. There's 14 teams, two divisions of seven teams. So it's quite an important game to get off, uh, you know, a, a good start to the season. So, I'll quickly run over um, Randy's draft. He has got, and this isn't in draft order by the way, it's just an alphabetical order because it's the way the website does it. Uh, we've got Chandelier, Chinchino, Gudra. Nope, that's my next week's opponent's team. You're going to have to let me try and find his team real quick. I've got to find my way around that. Here we go. So, this might make more sense. So, he's got the Celebi, Clefable, Delphox, Mega Garchomp, Hariyama, Mienshao, Milotic, Piloswine, Scolipede, Thunderous, and Zoroark. Scolipede and Delphox are his Z move users. So, I will quickly run you through uh, my own team because uh, you might get an idea as to what I've. Bought. I'm not going to do a team builder because I just don't like doing team builders. Um, I'll leave a link to my Poke Paste below so you can see what my sets are. Um, I've got Chesnaught, Domfan, Florgius, Greninja, Chiron Black, Lycanroc Midday, um, Mega Morwile, Mesprit, Porygon 2, Rotom, and Salazzle. Um, Lycanroc Midday and Greninja are my Z Move users. So. Um, considering they're all the mons on my draft, as you can see, uh, we've got six Pokemon uh, in front of me, which are the Mega Morwile, the Lycanroc, the Salazzle, the Porygon 2, the Greninja, and the Flawgeous. I will give you a quick overcap uh, here as well, just so you guys know what my team is, if I can actually find it. Here we go. So we have got um, max speed, max attack. Um, Lycanroc, because he does have that Thunderous, I do outspeed it. Um, Sword Stance, Stone Edge, Excel Rock, uh, Zen Headbutt. Um, he has a lot of things that are weak to Priority Rock, um, as well as the Zorok, which is just weak. So uh, this thing late game could be really nice if I can weaken the, um, the Garchomp, because a plus two um, Splintered Star and Short Star, I can't say it, Shard Storm. Will do like 70% at plus two. So um, as long as I can weaken that Garchomp, we will be in a good position. Um, the Slazzle is pretty straightforward. We've got Life Orb uh, with Sludge Wave, Toxic Flame for a Hidden Power, Ice. Um, he has got some bulky Steel and Poison types. I say bulky. He's got the. Um, oh, I've got to try and find his team again. He's got the Scolipede, which obviously would be nice to poison. He's also got the Dewblade, or he had Dewblade at the time, but I think he's traded it. He didn't have one of the. He didn't have Mianxiao, sorry, when I built. Uh, he's traded that away, but he did have Dewblade, so I thought Poison on the Dewblade would be quite nice. If for whatever reason he left it in. Um, so that's the uh, Salazzle that's got enough speed again to outspeed the Thunderous. Next up, we've got Mega Morwile. Um, a bit bulky with a little bit of speed and uh, max attack adamant, basically to outspeed Clefable. Um, I did like a slight bit of speed creeping. Play rough Ironhead, Stealth Rock, uh, Sucker Punch. He literally has, I mean, at the time he did have Dewblade, um, but as you can see, he didn't bring it, which was quite surprising. Um, he literally has nothing for a switch in to Mega Morwile, um, other than the Scolipede, but that can't take a Play rough and a Sucker Punch, um, and it can't kill me with anything. Um, especially if I intimidate it before Mega Evolving. Um, so, Morwile's got, it's probably my lead, or actually it is my lead as you can see on the screen, but it was my lead going into the game. So I can set, get up rocks or I can just click play rough and do some damage to something on his team, unless it's Garchomp obviously. Um, next we've got uh, P2, just max defense, try attack, recover, ice beam, thunderbolt. I think originally I had psychic and shadow ball. Um, I think as you can see looking at the team, the changes didn't really help too much in Shadow Ball and Psychic, or Psychic definitely might have helped a bit more with the Hariyama and the, um, the Scolipede. 
Um, second to last, we've got Flawgis here, which is um, it's max defense, but with calm. So it's kind of like my special mom because I didn't really feel the need like to bring max spdf. Flawgis, um, I felt the physical bulk would be a lot more useful uh, with Moonblast, Defog, Synthesis, Energy Ball. With Leftovers, Defog, it's like I'm only bringing Stealth Rocks, so if I have to get rid of Stealth Rocks, that's fine. Um, and then finally, uh, we have got Expert Bulk Ninja with Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, U Turn, and Gunk Shot. Um, enough speed again for the Thunderous, uh, which let me put quite a lot into my physical attack and max special attack. Not running any water coverage because I didn't think I'd need it, um, but as you can see, he did actually bring the Pilo Swine, which I wasn't expecting too much of because. Uh, I do have the Greninja, I do have the Mawile, which I, I don't do outspeed Pilot Swine. Um, I mean, Lycan Rock will do a good amount of damage to it with um, with Stone Edge, if I was to click it, or Splintered Storm Shards. Um, P2, again, can beat that thing one-on-one because -on -one I have recovery. So I wasn't really too sure why he bought that over something like the Dewblade uh, or the Thunderous. But you can see his team there. He's got the Hariyama, um, the Garchomp, the uh, Clefable, Pilot Swine, Zorok, and Scolopede. So not really what I expected, I'll be honest with you. But my team, I felt I could still easily deal with what I had in front of me. Um, looking at his team, I don't expect him to lead Chomp. If he does, I'll go into my P2 straight away. I will live any hit at plus two. Um, if, Chomp, if P2 is to die early, then P2 is to die early. Um, but otherwise, looking at his team, I'm pretty good to lead with Mega Mawile. So, Randy uh, is going to issue the challenge. Uh, you can see we've got a health bar. It's because, uh, oh, thanks to King Bub, by the way, for recording my game. Um, he left the health bar on. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to have to live with that for the time or for this game. It might be nice. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, but we do lead with Mawile, and we catch him fantastically leading the Hariyama. Um, probably expecting something like the Greninja lead. So, after Intimidate, I'm pretty confident I can live like an Earthquake or something. So I'm going to stay in, I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to Quick Play Rough, because uh, I'm very much expecting to go into Scolipede, because it's literally the only thing you can switch in. Um, so in comes the Scolipede, and I'm going to get my Mega Evolution off, and um, you guys, I can't explain how excited I am to use Mega Morwell, because <laughs> not many leagues allow it, um, so this could be fun. Saying that, however, Mega Morwell starting off the season fantastically well, missing the Play Rough. And this is actually enormous, because, um, spoiler alert, I got so fucking salty in this game, because I get crit turn 2 after missing my play rough turn 1. Um, this is the Zorok, so this thing would have nearly died if it, or it would have died if it wasn't sashed, would have been 1 if it was sashed, and I have Sucker Punch, like I said, so... This should have been dead. It should have been long gone. Um, if it was Scolipede, again, play rough and Sucker Punch would have killed it, unless it was really bulky. Um... So I actually have to go into Greninja, I don't have anything like Surf to hit it, so I have to U-turn and it lives. So I'm going to go into my floor just because I'm like, well, um, you know, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go into this thing. And uh, he clicks Sludge Bomb, he predicts it, fair play. But he gets a Poison, so three turns, I miss a play rough, I die to a Crit Flamethrower, and the Poison isn't as important, but I, we're three turns in, I'm on the back foot because of hacks, I'm pretty much 6-4 down. I have to stay in a quick move last. I haven't got a switch into Zorok. Um, I live on 1, thank god, um, and kill this thing with Moonblast, but I'm down 5-4 in the first 3 turns, purely to hacks. If I'd have hit my play rough, I would be 6-5 up after 2 turns. Completely different story, and I am on the back foot in this game already, because Floor just dies, 2 poison, and that's both my things for Harry Hammer gone. So you can already see where this game is going to go. Sorry if my salt is pouring through to this commentary, but it's bringing it all back to me. It's been like, uh, what is it, uh, I think nearly a week since we played five days, six days maybe. Like, there's literally nothing I can do to this Hariyama now other than chip it down. I am life orb, I do get a poison, at which point I was like, thank, you know, like, what have I got to do to get some luck? Because I thought he'd be um, guts, but turns out he is the thick fat. Um, so the poison actually is pretty useful. He does knock off my life orb, which is frustrating. Um, but I do think I'm going to save Slazzle, because it's my best way now to take out Clefable. So I'm going to go into P2, because uh, he's gone for knockoff, and I'm kind of expecting like an earthquake or something. But he clicks close combat, and that's fair, because it probably would have killed me anyway. And that does a lot of damage, like a lot, a lot. And like I said, I have no switch into this thing now, because both my Mawile and my... Um, uh, Flawgis are dead. This thing clicked knockoff and I bought him Mawile. But Mawile got a free kill every single time. Um, it's not even funny. And just to rub salt in the wound, I get killed by a crit. It definitely didn't matter in any shape or form. 
But, you know, I was really tilted at this point, and, you know, Randy felt quite bad for it, but, you know, we were talking throughout the game at this point, because I just, I gave up after turn three, because there was literally nothing I could do to win this game. Um, if I had a water move on Greninja, there may have been, like, a slim chance, um, but we do finally take out the Hariyama. With a crit, the crit didn't matter, but, um some kind of salvation of hacks there. Both the bits of hacks I've got haven't really mattered. I mean, the poison helped, sure, but it doesn't change the outcome of the game like the others did. I'm going to look at the flamethrower here. This does, like, square root of nothing, like 26%. Um, I'm just going to die to an earthquake. Slazzle, there's no point in saving it because I only have uh, Greninja and Lycanroc left. Obviously, neither of which can switch into earthquake. Um... So now I go into Greninja, I'm thinking, right, I'm going to have to make play here. I'm going to have to predict him to switch out because I expect him to go into Clefable, predicting Earth Surf. I click Gunk Shot, he stays in. Um, if there was any slight chance of me getting something out of this game, that was it, gone. Um, he Earthquakes, that's that's fine. It's going to be a 2 at KO because Greninja is pretty frail. Uh, I think I'm naive and not hasty. So if I was hasty, it would have done even more. Um, I'm going to click Dark Pulse now because the only way I can beat him is if I flinch him to death. Um, that does good damage though. He does pretty good damage. I probably should have clicked Dark Pulse, you know, in hindsight uh, the first time. Because, I, like I said, I don't have a water move on this Greninja and he, he realises this now. Um, I go for another flinch here. It would have been nice because Greninja would have been around and it could have actually done something else. Um, but, no. Greninja goes down to this thing and now it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Lycanroc versus the world. Um... I'm going to go to Lycanroc, I'm going to have to click um, Celeroc, because if I have any chance of winning, basically him choking, not going into Garchomp, letting me set up, and me somehow, like, super mega critting him, I go for a Celeroc, it kills this pilot swine. Hooray, we done something. Good job, Lycanroc. Um, in comes the Garchomp, though, and I'm like, you know what, fuck it, have a copyright strike, Randy. You've hacked me out of this game, I'm not letting you have have anything nice from this. So, um, he does Mega Revolve here into his Garcho uh, Mega Garchomp. Um, it's a cool looking Mon, definitely not as good as normal Garchomp, but uh, I'm going to go for the Z-move here. Uh, it's a cool Z-move, Lycanroc's a cool boy, I've wanted to try Lycanroc for a while. I did want to try Lycanroc uh, Dusk form, obviously it's stronger, but the speed on this thing is actually a lot nicer, I feel, after actually sort of looking in hindsight and prepping. Um, the speed is really nice, 112, to outspeed those base 110s is, is really cool, and 111s which you see uh, on the Genies. Um, so yeah, we do go for the Z-move here, the Splintered Storm Shards, and considering how bulky Garchomp is, um, and how this is not very effective, it actually does a lot of damage, um, which I was surprised about. Um, it done, <laughs> what, 40%? So if I was at plus 2, um, after, like, rocks and any slight bit of, like, chip, we'd have had a chance to have actually, like, cleaned up the game with, with like, and rock, but was never going to happen because I got hacked out of the game so early on. Um, I, I kind of had no chance to gain any momentum. Um, I had no chance to really uh, bring myself back in. I lost my way of dealing with Hariyama and, and Randy knew that, capitalised on it and there was nothing I could do. So apologies guys if I sound incredibly salty after going through that game because I, I was so close to just leaving the league and quitting Pokemon at that point because... It was just so frustrating. I like on matchup. I knew I had such a good chance, um, especially in team building as well. I felt like I had matchup. Um, again, we've already. You can just look. I mean, Mega Morwell doesn't have hardly any checks as it is. Tell me what his player of switch in is on that team because the best I can see is like uh, probably Pilot Swine, but I can't take that and Iron Head. I will outspeed it unless he's max speed. Scolopede takes like 60%. If, if it's a normal set, like 60% in a resisted hit and then Iron Head or Sucker Punch just kill afterwards. You know, there's really nothing I could do once Marwa went down because it outsped his whole team, other than the Zorok, but again, the Flame for a crit, man. I would have lived that because I had some HP, I had quite a lot of HP investment. Um, he wasn't Specs because we saw, uh, he wasn't even Life Orb, he wasn't a damage boosting item because I'm pretty sure he was Sashed. He could have been like Expert Belt, um, I don't see why he would be Expert Belt because I don't have anything weak to uh, Dark types. Um, so yeah, it, it really tilted me, it really affected the outcome of the game and I honestly do think I could have put up a much better battle, you know, even if I still lost, I don't care if I lose and it's not hacks, but the hacks, I mean Randy's going to hate me for this, but you know, the hacks, 
help just let Randy win that game. It, it wasn't in my favour at all, and it hasn't been for a while, so I cannot wait for the game where hacks goes my way and I can just stomp someone. I'll feel bad. Uh, Randy felt pretty bad after the game. Um, but hey, it's Pokemon. It's part of the game. Um, and we, we play and we have to accept it. So, yeah, guys, make sure you check out my draft analysis if I've uploaded it. If I haven't, just keep an eye out for it. Check out all the other coaches and stuff below, uh, especially Randy. He will have a less salt-induced um, commentary, although it's a very quick game, so, uh, you know, you probably won't have to listen too much of him. You've seen it here. Um, but next week, um, I'm hoping that'll be a better game. Well, let me quickly go back to the website, because I'll give you an update on who we've got next. We have got the Kentucky Typhlosions, and I'm really bad, because I don't know many of the coaches here. It's Mr. Cha Mr. Chabry. Um, who I'm playing next. Um, he did lose week one 4-0, uh, so we are in a slightly better position than him. Um, and I, looking at his team, I felt like we have a pretty good chance to, uh, to, to beat it. So yeah, um, stick around guys if you do want to see week two. Hopefully it won't be as uh, song inducing as this one. Um, check out all the links below and stuff. I'm rambling, I'm also the Don Fanatic, and I will see you next time. Bye!